Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, sh hey, that's crazy. You know, I used to always watch like the top 100s on YouTube and, and NFL Network and stuff like that. Not like thinking I'd actually be the number one player. Like, damn, that's crazy. I'm really speechless right now. <laughs> like, uh, damn. I'm trying to drive a Bentley today. I'm trying to die that today. <laughs> Lamar Jackson took the NFL for a ride in 2019. I mean, you, did you not see what he was doing? I mean, he made pro football look like high school highlights. Like, he's just doing stuff out there that it's not many guys that can do that. That man is a cheat code. <laughs> watching him is like when we used to create our players on NCAA. Watching him is almost like watching that. Well, Lamar's been electric all year. I mean, all the things that he can do from running the football and throwing it to the competitive nature that he brings to the game, that's the kind of football player you want on your team. Lamar, whoever else, but uh, Lamar Jackson. Critics attributed Jackson's success in his rookie year to luck, but in year two, Jackson more than proved his worth. Hey, hold my quarter, I just know. I never thought it was a fluke. I seen him play last year. He he started late in the year last year, and he, he was a rookie. It seems like he learned a lot. Uh, he matured so fast over one offseason. The reason why I'm really proud of him is because obviously he won the Heisman. He was a great college football player, but there were all these doubts about how he was going to translate to the NFL. When I'm watching him against my team, I'm definitely not cheering for him. But part of me watching him throughout the year was cheering for his success because of all he went through, because um, of all the scrutiny and the doubts. And everybody that I talk to that knows him just can't say enough about his character and just who he is as a person. Go, go! Hey! Hey, that's you! Keep that! Love you, brother. Man, wreck up, baby! Let's go! Okay, start completely. I love you, baby. Love you too, Coach. Congratulations. Go, baby. We got Ed, just the first step. I had a chip on my shoulder. Um, I still do. You know, I'm gonna always have a chip until I get me a chip. He's like a skilled player that is a quarterback. So like he got all the elusiveness and speed and agility of a elite receiver or elite running back, but he plays quarterback. They tried to label him as one dimensional, but that's obviously not the case. You know, he just makes it look easy. He's a running quarterback when he has to be, because he's looking to throw. He wants to throw touchdowns. He don't want to run, but he will. He does whatever it takes to win. If he has to run for 200 yards, that's what he's going to do. He's going to take the game into his own hands and, and kind of turn the game around. We all heard about him being called a running back, but his ability to be able to throw the ball with accuracy and timing, and we all know what he's capable of doing with his legs, the number of guys that he may miss. He was just fun to watch. Everyone had fun watching Jackson play. Good luck to you, bro. Good luck, man. Yeah, you're doing some great stuff. Appreciate that. Keep it man. up, man. Appreciate Big that. fan. Yes, sir. When he won his first Super Bowl, like, I was probably like three years old, I think, like 2000, 2001, something like that. Like, that's crazy. And now he's he looking at me, telling me he's, he's like, he loves watching me play. I'm like, yeah, that's dope. Tom Brady said <laughs> Like, I think Lamar's game is Lamar's game. What he's been able to do has been exciting to watch. And there's nothing that he can't do. He was under tremendous heat. Lamar Jackson had a backpedal all the way to the 20-yard line, lobbed the ball up to the back of the end zone, and the Ravens have their fifth touchdown of the opening half. I think it was the game against Miami Dolphins. He had more touchdowns than incompletions. He broke the quarterback rushing record and led the league in touchdown passes. He can sling it, and he, he got, like, like little different throw angles he used. And, I mean, he definitely crafty with it. He'll make some sidearm throws. Is there one particular play that stands out to you that maybe a lot of people don't talk about? The, uh, he did well. The pass, the pass to Mark, um, Mark Andrews with Cleveland Browns back at the end zone. Lamar Jackson was hit, thrown off balance, stepped forward in a crowd, and threw a perfect ball between two defenders to Mark Andrews. I was throwing the ball off balance, and I had to just throw it at a spot where Mark and, you know, 
play back and catch the ball. He made a great catch, and I just feel like that was a great play people don't really give us credit for. He got me on one. I had another assignment, but I did try to chase him down. I was inches away, and I've seen that highlight so many times already. Lamar Jackson with the spin, the sprint, and the score. And that spin was, was perfect. You know, the ball was tight. He didn't lose any momentum. It was just like, you're playing Madden, you press the O button, bam, spin, just keep going. It was amazing. I remember asking him, you know, I'm like, dog, what was you thinking on that Cincinnati run? He's like, yeah, right, I'm running the ball. I juke the first dude. I said, cool, okay, I spin off him. And then I'm sprinting, I'm in the open field. He's like, yeah, I look to my right. I see 23, I'm like, okay, cool. He did, boom, end zone right there. It's over with. <laughs> that was the most unreal, like, that I've ever seen. It's fourth and a short two. For him to be like, yeah, let's go for it, coach. Heck yeah, big game on the road, you know what I mean? That just tells you all, everything you need to know about him. That's why he's number one in the league. Power formation. This is gonna be a quarterback run. Jackson takes a snap, runs to the right. He's got a seam. He's to the five. He's in. Touchdown, Lamar Jackson. He wants the game in his hands in that in that moment. It's a power. He presses it outside like it's outside zone. He went outside and bomb, cut it inside. Broke a tackle, finished with the ball in the end zone. That kind of uh, you know, propelled us to get a victory in Seattle. He had a fast. When you got fans thirsty and craving to see you play, that's one thing. When you got infield guys, thirsty to see you play. That's the difference. I don't even want to call him the modern day Michael Vick. I don't. Um, I mean, there's things that he's doing that are just insane. You know, if he can continue this rate that he's at right now, he'll be the best player to ever play in the NFL. You need a workout. This is a five-step curve. <laughs> I think I need two hands with this. It's too slippery. I can't do it with one. I don't want to drop it. Christian McCaffrey, he was going crazy. Pat just won a Super Bowl, he was going crazy. Like, I really didn't know who was going. And, like, I wasn't thinking, like, I was going to be number one. Probably top five, but not number one. It's an honor. Only got one goal right now, is to win the Super Bowl. That's my goal.